As a young musician, when I pictured my future, I imagined playing great symphonies for big audiences in beautiful concert halls. And as a violinist with the Grand Rapids Symphony, all that came true. What I never expected was that some of the most important performances I would do would be far away from the concert hall. In 2006, my father wound up in a neurointensive care unit in a Pittsburgh hospital, and I went to visit him with violin in hand. When I played, the nurses opened the door so that they could listen too, and pretty soon people started coming from around the ICU to ask if I would come and play for their loved one too. What was happening was that the music was pushing away the fear and the anxiety, and it brought an unexpected touch of beauty and, I think, a sense of real peace. In 2012, I got the green light from the Grand Rapids Symphony to meet with a music therapist and a program director at Spectrum Neuro Rehab to explore how the symphony might contribute to their work with patients recovering from traumatic brain injury. We asked, if you could have symphony musicians do anything, what would you have us do? Out of this grew the first partnership of our Music for Health initiative, with three pairs of musicians playing for group music therapy sessions every month. Each session is unique, concentrating on memory or attention or mood. Often we accompany physical exercise. And since we team up with a the music therapist, we can adjust whatever we are doing to match the patient's starting point and then change along with them as they progress. By the end of our second year, we had 10 musicians doing 50 therapy sessions a year and had branched out to work with cancer patients during their chemotherapy treatments. At this point, we felt that we needed more music for all the different types of music for health services that we were doing. In 2015, with the help of a Getty Foundation grant, we commissioned a new music collection. Some pieces were original, some were arrangements, and together they gave us appropriate music to work with every kind of group that we were playing for. They also enabled us to use any treble instrument with any bass instrument in the orchestra in any combination that we wanted. One particularly interesting part of this collection is a set of improvisation charts designed so that classically trained musicians who often don't think of themselves as natural improvisers can create long meditative pieces for all of our sessions. The natural growth of our program continued this year when we were approached by Helen DeVos Children's Hospital to join them in a project to help improve patient and family life. We quickly realized that our meditations were just right for this, so we recorded over four hours of duets and quartets, and this was looped with photos of Michigan scenes taken by hospital employees. Now this is played 24 hours a day on a designated TV channel in five Grand Rapids hospitals. We hear stories from the music therapists every week about patients who are using the relaxation channel to experience that touch of beauty or find a sense of peace. As symphony musicians, we love the audiences that come to all of our concerts. But if your health prevents you from coming to us, we want you to know that through our Music for Health initiative, we are continuing to find ways for the Grand Rapids Symphony to come to you. <laughs>